church. This is our Word Wednesday. And we're grateful for the opportunity to share with you tonight. To our members on the parking lot, God bless you tonight. Our members online, God bless you tonight. Our members and friends, relatives on Facebook, God bless you tonight. Thank God for you, your participation. Thank you, Lord, for your willingness to share with us tonight. I do thank you again for your wonderful support. Never cease to praise God and thank God for you at every opportunity that we have. So grateful to God that he's not dealt with us after anything like sin having the waters according to our iniquity, but he's been merciful to forgive us and gracious to prosper us to see yet another day and have another chance. Truly the Lord is good to us. And I say from time to time, it doesn't have to be this good to be God, but I certainly am glad that he is. We worship the Lord because he's worthy. There's none like him. deserve the glory. You deserve the glory and the honor. We lift our hands in worship and we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory. And the honor We lift our hands in worship As we bless your holy name For you, Lord, are great You do miracles So great There is no one else like you There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is none else like you. Thank you, Lord. There is no one like you. You are great. You do miracles so great There is no one else like you Hallelujah There is no one else like you You are great You do miracles so great There is no one else like you Glory to your name. There is no one else. You are great. You do miracles. So great. No one, no one else like you. There is no one else. You are great. You do miracles so great There is no one else like you There is no one else You are great You do miracles so great There is no one else like you There is no one else. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There's no one else. No one else. 
like you Thank you for your presence. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us. Thank you, Lord, for last night's rest and waking us this morning refreshed. We just ask you, Lord, again to let us be with you. Show us your ways, Lord. Teach us. That we may help your people. Our Father and our God, we bless your holy and righteous name because you alone are worthy to receive honor, glory, master, dominion, and power. Thank you, Lord, for done for us since the beginning of this year. Thank you, Lord, for what you did for us on yesterday. Thank you, Lord, for taking care of us, loving us all the days of our lives. Give you glory, give you honor as we enter the prayer tonight. Hear our prayer and tend our supplications in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We do pray for Thanksgiving. All agree with that prayer. I said amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Day number 11, 14 days, nights of prayer. As we pray for the election, and of course, I hope you discovered it, but now we're not just praying for the election. We're praying for everything that's going on in our country and how our country relates to those around the world. Because we need God. They said it when I was a child, if we ever needed the Lord before, we sure do need him now. And I'm still saying the same thing. If we ever needed the Lord, we sure do need him now. Pray with me, oh God, arise and bring the plans of local witness to nothing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, destroy the wicked, plaguing our country, and treat them with great torture. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the power of God intimidate and frustrate the wicked that are assigned against this nation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise. Wipe out the understanding of the wicked in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, pour out the spirit of dizziness on all the camp of the enemy speaking against this nation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Father, let the forces of wickedness target against this country stagger in everything they do as drunk or stagger and can compose themselves. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let our leaders be filled with your divine understanding and wisdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let our leaders follow the counsel of God and not of man and demons. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Circumvent every evil targeted at the United States of America. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, give us leaders who will see their roles as a calling from you. Not just an opportunity to amass wealth. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command the stones of fire from God to fall upon every national satanic operation and activity. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let the desires, the plans, the devices, the expectations of the enemy be completely frustrated and unsuccessful. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord God, recover the glory of this country in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every citadel of drinkers of blood and eaters of flesh in this country be terminated by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise prayers for the election process. You can have the books. These are from the Prayer, Praise, and Healing, September 26, 2018. September 26, 2018. I that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He's my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler, from the noise and pestilence. He will cover with His feathers, and on His wings shall I trust. Hallelujah. His shield should be my, His truth should be my shield and buckler. I should not be afraid of the terror of the night, nor the air fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. Thousands have fought at my side and ten thousand right hands do not come near me. On with my eyes I behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because I've made the Lord which is my refuge. Even the most time my habitation of you before me. These hands play come now my dwelling. But you give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. They shall bear me up in their hands lest I dash my foot against the stone. I shall tread upon the lion and the adder. The young lion and the dragon shall I trample under feet. Because I set my love upon him, therefore he will deliver me. He will set me on high because I know his name. I shall call upon him, he will answer me, he will be in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me, long life will he satisfy me and show me his salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Pray with the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rule and reign over the affairs of this nation. Oh God, you are the one who reigns over the affairs of men. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, reign in the election process across America. Oh God, set aside and expose mankind's schemes and ideas in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, the heart of the people is in your hand. Therefore, we close the minds of the citizens of this country to the devil and, and we open their minds to you and your will and your purpose for this election. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We decree that the counsel of the spirit of Ahithophel in this election shall be destroyed and turned into nothing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every representative of the liars in this election. Be frustrated. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every activity of the sorcerers and enchantments. Over this election. Be frustrated. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every evil diviners. A sign of this election. Be weary, faint, and be paralyzed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We apply the blood of our Lord Jesus over the mind of the people. Precinct chapters. Election commissioners. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every conspiracy against the will of God. And the plan of God for this election be rendered null and void in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the craftiness of the wicked in this election be miserably disappointed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let every evil enterprise that has been put in place to manipulate this election 
against the will of God be disappointed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the strong wind of God carry away the wicked plan for this election. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we decree that the council of election manipulators shall not come to pass, neither shall it stand. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every evil tongue being raised in secret places against this election be confused. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Oh God, arise, let your kingdom come and rule over this election in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We rebuke and overthrow all satanic candidates for this election in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every wicked personality sponsoring evil candidates for this election be exposed and be disgraced in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every evil candidate be rooted out of this nation's executive, legislative, and judicial branches in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We impeach, pull down, and remove from office those who've already manipulated their way into office. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, reveal the candidates of your choice for the rulership of this nation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise and uproot anything you did not plant inside Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let the fire of revival fall upon Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church, Beaumont, Texas, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory be to the Lord Jesus Christ who is worthy. He alone is able, hallelujah, to make all things work. He is our God and beside him there is no other. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's praise him tonight. This old song, praise him, praise him. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for being with us this evening and for praying with us. The Bible declares that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Simply means that if you pray, you won't faint. But if you faint, you cannot pray. My Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Father. <laughs> Praise Him. Come on, help me. Praise Him. Yeah. 
of the sun from the rising of the sun to the going down of the sand. Jesus is worthy. Jesus is worthy. Jesus is worthy. Glory in all things. Give God glory. Jesus. He's worthy. Give God thanks, amen, for amen. saving and preserving my life. Thank you, Lord. Amen. amen. Um, you may not have known, Lord but God. I fell and had a concussion. All right. Lord but Jesus. God. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. I never even got dizzy. Lord Thank Lord. God. So I know there was nothing but God and Lord His Lord. angels that He had charge over me. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. So I don't take a light, and I'm grateful to God for His having preserved. My mind. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. It did affect my body. Yeah. Amen. But it did not have the effect that the enemy yeah. would have liked for it to have. Amen. So I give God praise on tonight. Praise God. Praise for his many God. wonderful yes, works. 
Yes, and D's and X. Yes, sir. Amen. Because that could have been my last day. Could have been. But I'm still here, so I thank yes, God yeah, yeah. on tonight. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So it's truly indeed a blessing. The daddy yes, was saying, grandma and them would say, just keep on saying good morning. You understand a lot of things. Yes, Lord. Amen. That the old people would say. Yes, sir. Amen. Talking about a reasonable portion of strength. You understand yeah. that? You in your right mind. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Why is that? Your right mind is a blessing because yes, as you get yes, older, you've gone through so much that was supposed yes, to just make yeah. you just stir crazy, as they used yes, to call it. But you still can think clearly. That's a blessing. Yes, sir. Amen. Because the mind is very powerful, but also at the same time, it's very fragile. Yes, sir. So we thank God for his preservation thank God. of our minds. Yes, Amen. Because he keeps us as he said that he would. Yes, as he said he would. Amen. So we're grateful to God on tonight. You, if you have your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Exodus, or your Bible app, excuse me, to Exodus chapter 17 and verse number 18. Thank God for this day. Man. Yes, Amen. Sir. He was having spoke to me on today, tonight, this evening, whatever you want to call it. That's right. We're in daylight saving time now. Amen. So the we have more daylight, say it like that. Now, this, yeah. the days are not longer because it's still just 24 hours right. in the day, but we have more daylight. So that's a good thing, amen, to be able to enjoy the sun longer. The Spirit of God spoke to me on the ride over here. He said, don't use your notes on tonight. Like, mm, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I had heard that said in quite some time. You know, okay. And, and I'm grateful to God, amen, that I can hear his voice. And I was rested so yes, sir. to hear his voice as Thank well. And so he said, I use your MacArthur study Bible. All right, now, I forgot to walk in over here. I got my Thompson chain. Uh -huh. Bible for you preachers and pastors, that Thompson chain, in my opinion, mm -hmm. that is the best reference Bible that I have seen. Yep. Right. It's got the Strong's in there, amen, and the scriptures are lined up on uh, line amen. exactly amen. like you need for them to be. So I encourage you to get a Thompson chain Bible if you are amen. a preacher, teacher of the gospel. That's just my recommendation. Amen. That ain't nowhere in the Bible. And you shall also have a Thompson Chain Bible. That's not what they say. Amen. But it is a great reference Bible. That's the one that Pastor encouraged us to get when we were going through uh, our minister's classes back in the day. That's been quite some time as well. Yeah. Amen. But anyway, 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 anyway. We thank God on tonight. Exodus chapter 13, verses 17 and 18 was served. 13? Yes, sir. 13. 13 verses 17 and 18 will serve as our foundation text. That's the text that we'll build up on, on tonight. Amen. For tonight's message. Let's pray. Grace Heavenly Father, God in heaven. Thank you for this day. Thank you for tonight. We thank you, God, for our life, our health, and our strength, preserving us, keeping us in the palm of your hand as you said that you would. God, I thank you first for this opportunity to share with these your people. And I God, I ask that you would take them out of myself to be less of me and more of you, less of me and more of you, less of me to us, all of you and none of me. Not unto my name, but unto your name, O oh God, be all the glory, all the honor, all the majesty, all the dominion, and all the power, O oh, Heavenly Father, God. Thank you, God, for being in us and with us and among us. God, I thank you that I'm sending some moments. You know what the Spirit of God would dictate on tonight. Thank you, God, for boldness and active articulation and speech. Thank you, God, for perfect utterance. All right, now. Thank you, God, that I'm heard and I'm heard clearly in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ coming against any satanic force and the satanic walls and the demonic interference is cast down and destroyed Great. right now so that the ears of the people may hear what your spirit says yes, them and what Thank you desire God. for them to have. God, that's our question on tonight because we have them take our anxiety and give us your peace, take our depression and give us your joy, restore to us the joy of our salvation, give us a new outlook, a new vantage point. A new way of looking at our situations, our circumstances, our challenges, oh Heavenly Father God, and the things that we're facing both mentally, spiritually, and physically, so and financially yes. as well. And God, we thank you tonight. Most importantly, if everybody gets saved on tonight, thank God for those that come back to you, those that get spirit yes. filled, commit to membership, and go to Triangle Christian Fellowship Church and commit to you worldwide. In yes. Jesus Christ's name, I'll agree with that prayer said. Amen. Amen. Exodus 13. Uh, verses 17 and 18, reading to you from the King James uh, Version of the Bible on tonight. And it reads, Then it came to pass when Pharaoh had let the people go. Now, these people that are being referenced here or talked about in this uh, scripture here are nation Israel. Yeah. They have been told they can go ahead and leave. Pharaoh told them, Y'all here, but get out from down up in here. 2022 version. And Moses is leading them out. So it came to pass when Pharaoh had let the people go that God did not lead them by the way 
of the land of the Philistines, okay. although, although that was near. Right. Yes. In other words, that would have been a shorter route. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, well, say, although that would have been a shorter route, but he didn't take them by the Philistines, although that therefore God said, lest perhaps the people change they, their minds when they see war. All right. Oh, God. And return to Egypt. In other words, he said, I see this ain't gonna work too good about it. They have to see the Philistines uh -huh. first off. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So God led the people around by the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. And the children of Israel went up in orderly ranks uh -huh. out of the land of Egypt. Now I forget what word is in that King James Bible, but it translated they basically were walking five across. So it would be one, yeah. two, three, four, five, and another set of one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So they moved in an organized fashion. All right, yeah. all right. Uh, they weren't just moving um, haphazardly. Yeah, yeah. Um, secular history apart from the Bible teaches us a lot of different things about who Moses was mm -hmm. before he was Moses, the man of God. Oh, all right. God. Okay, and there's a lot of things out there. Uh, and like I said, this is secular history apart from the Bible. Uh, we know definitely he was a great commander because it shows up time he has to lead Israel into war, right. what they were able to accomplish. Uh, so we do see that. Uh, Second yeah. also, apart from the Bible, also said that he was also the king of Ethiopia mm -hmm. yeah. for a while as well. So there's a lot of different things out there said about Moses. So Moses accomplishes a lot yeah. before God uses him right. to help his people. And you have to know that God is okay with you having success in industry too, as well as in the kingdom right, of God. All right, all right. So tonight we want to talk about trust the directions. Trust. Trust the directions. Yeah. Trust the directions. My objective tonight is to remind you that when you let God lead you, thank you, Lord, mm. yes, that, that you're going to be just fine. All right. Uh, recently took a trip to Dallas. You know, I needed to know where I was in Dallas. I hadn't stayed in that section of town before, and I needed uh -huh. to know how to get back down this way because you got to always be able to find your way back home. Amen. Right, right. So they offered me three routes, bro, Pastor, and, and, and I took the route that said it was the shortest. All right. Uh -huh. Not really looking at where it was about <laughs> to take it. Oh, uh, God. So, so I picked this route, and, and, and the route leads me east. Instead of just southeast, if you will, I'm gonna say it like that. And, and everything that I'm seeing starts out looking unfamiliar. All right. Yeah. Uh, I hadn't seen none of this stuff before. Mm. So I thought. All right. And as I traveled, passed through a town called Seagullville. Mm. All right. And, and so you don't know the significance of Seagullville uh, because that was always where we played our last game, football game. Right. Uh, when I was in high school, uh, and that would always be the coldest game of the year that we would have. Like, we always, you know, playing them last out there. They never came to none of our home field. I never understood that. But anyway, 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 it was always the coldest game of the year. So I was able to relive some good memories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, my family would be out there. Of course, the band would be there performing, and it's ice cold. You can see your breath out there while you're playing and all this other oh, kind of stuff, and you're freezing cold, trying to do the bend while it's cold as Jack's out there. You understand? So we're out there, and this is where our grandparents showed up, and I'm like, Lord, these old people don't need to be out here in this cold like this, but they was out there because of their grandson. These yeah. are things. So all right. All right. we're going, and I see all this different terrain I hadn't seen before. Yeah. And, and it would tell me to take some turns hmm. off of what appeared the road that I was on. All right, all right. But, but I didn't know where I was going, so I had to trust yes. what the directions were telling me and that the directions would make me end up yes. where I wanted mm. to be. Yeah. And, and, and as I would go on, like I say, now the terrain was the type of terrain that I like. I like here. Now, that's one thing that I do miss about not being in Dallas. I don't have a lot of qualms about not being down. I don't miss traffic, but I do miss the hills. I enjoy the yeah. hills of Dallas. I would like to see, you know, the hills go up and down, riding the bikes up and down hills, you know, driving up and down hills, coming over the cliff and, you know, seeing the city and all. I, I, I like that. I enjoy that. That's, that's just yeah. good in my mind. Don't have that where I am. But this is what God got me, so, you know, every now and then God has to let me see some hills. Yeah, ain't God good. I'm seeing the hills and we're still... 
still traveling. I am, so here I am traveling and traveling and traveling. And I got all these hooks and all these turns. Then, then uh, by way, come by Palestine. Hadn't been there quite a time. Now, if you think I'm just talking about following the maps thing, you got nothing coming, so you just have to walk close. When we by Palestine, they took me down some other memories as well, because we used to go there when I was a school teacher. Uh, that's when we used to go to camp. All right. All right. So that boat went up a whole nother set of files I hadn't thought about. I was out there swatting wasps and killing wasps with my straw hat and all the other kind of stuff with these children. You know, you know, doing things, walking through the woods and showing them, you know, the different types of trees and how to measure trees if you don't have a ruler. Yeah. All this kind of stuff, you know, different memories yeah. that we're yeah. going through. And then yeah. passed through a town called Grofton. Oh, uh uh, not Grofton. Oh. I said, well, that's where the, the original big homie is from. I said, that's where Popo is from. That's his city, right? Yeah. Right now that I see, you understand, but I did not know. Yes. <laughs> when the path was laid out, yes. that I would pass through all of these things. Yes. Yes, sir. And that's how it is when you walk with God that you don't know what all is on the path as you go, but you have to trust the direction. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. We, we, we trust the directions because we know that we can trust his leading. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, the Bible says the steps of a good man or woman are ordered Order. by the Lord. Yeah. But I know something about the order. You have to decide to follow the order. Yes, you you, you, have to, you have to allow yourself to be obedient and avail yes. yourself. The Spirit of God spoke to me on the way over here, uh, 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 Reverend Samson, and he said, that, he said that God has the capacity already in him to handle whatever is on the path. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. God already has the capacity to handle whatever shows up on the path. It ain't like God got to go into his grab bag and find something for you. All right, now. When you find yourself in a place you ain't intend to be or he done led you into something. It ain't like that. Mm. Bible makes it very clear. Say when he led nation Israel out, he said he led them in a pillar of cloud. That verse 21, Exodus 31, saying the Lord went before them, excuse me, by the day and a pillar of cloud to lead them by the way, and then a pillar of fire to give them light in the night. Yes, sir. He didn't just make that up right then. He already knew what he was going to do. He didn't wait on them to pray, Lord, give us a cloud for shade in the daytime. All right. And then give us a pillar of fire in the night to help us stay warm. That is not what happened. This is what he did on his own of himself. That's why he could say over in Jeremiah 24, I know. The thoughts that I think toward you. In other words, I already have a plan for your life. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. See, we can depend on him because he is the one that will get us there. Yes, sir. And if we don't get all the way there, he still will give us credit if we walk with him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm saying something right there. That, 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 yes, that, that even if I didn't make it all the way to Beaumont, I was following that direction. Yes. And I knew who yes. my father was. And if I had Yes. Fell the victim of some untraveling grace. I had somewhere to be. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm saying. We, we get tripped up along the path. We fall down yeah. along the path. Yeah. We make some wrong choices, some wrong decisions yes, along the path. But if we with him yes, sir. and trust the directions, we know we can mm -hmm. be okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you have to learn to say, like my great, like my grandfather said, we went hunting one time, Uncle George. Grandpa and myself and Uncle George drove over to Grandpa's house so we had to drive across town. All right. Okay, so he, he pulls up and we put our gear and, you know, and, and firearms in the vehicle and whatnot and we get ready to go so we can go hunting and it's still dark out. First thing Grandpa said when he get in the car is, I've enjoyed this already. <laughs> in other words, he didn't wait to get where he was going. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't wait till he got to fire a weapon. He, 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 none of, he didn't wait till he saw a squirrel. He decided within himself, I had already enjoyed this before I left. See, that's why the, you have to learn within yourself to tell God thank you for where you are right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say it again. You tell God thank you for where you are right now. Yes, because sir. it may not be where you want to be, but it's not where you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. You may not have who you thought you wanted, but you got somebody. All right, come yes, on. Sir. See, see, there's a lot of people go through their whole life and don't ever know what love is. I don't care what oh you say. Oh, oh, my God. God. I, I'm talking about not from a parent, not from a dog, not me from nothing. No Lord man, Jesus. we don't nothing. Lord Jesus. Have mercy. You know that Charles Haddon Spurgeon, he's credited with saying that the law will... He said he will, we may not ever receive the love that we want, but the law will always make sure that we receive the love that we need. All right, all right, all right, all right. 
Now see that, that mess with you when, when you hear that because it's yeah. like it's like yeah. it, it, it say you know you be wanting a serpent height. Yeah. Yeah. And a kind of a love that you might can't get from a human being, but God will make sure that you get the love that you you need yes, sir. in your yes, life. Sir. Because why? Because God is love. Still talking about trusting the directions that that. God leads us because he understands what we're ready for and not ready for. All right, all right. Mm. Throughout the entire conquest of the promised land, you never saw where a nation Israel locked horn with the Philistines. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm yes, going to say it again. You, 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 you never saw them have a conflict with the They fought the Edomites, they fought the Canaanites, they fought the Jebusites, they fought the Hittites, they fought the Hivites, they fought the Arvisites. They, they, they fought a lot of different tribes, a lot of different colored people over there. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay, they, 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 got, they went a lot of war. We're talking about it between Joshua's leadership and Moses. They, they fought a lot of war, but never did they lock horns with these Philistines. All right, all right. I mean, and they took on the giants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, do you understand? I mean, they took on the job. I mean, these are one that, in spite of the great flood, they still made it back some type of way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so you, 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 yeah, 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 yes, sir. And, and, and we got evidence in the earth that the giants were here because they got the skeletons in America. They took a lot of them and they burned them up, but they, it's evidence of them all, right. all over the planet. So it, it was real. So they were able to defeat the giants, but they never lost one with the Philistines. All right. Yes. Pastor, what does it have to do with me? The Lord knows what battles you are ready for or not ready for. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Okay, say that again. The, the Lord knows the battle that you're ready for or not ready for. Yes, sir. If you're in the battle, you're ready for the battle. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, Reverend. Yes, sir. Now you go messing with the people Woo. right there, Reverend. Say it again. If you're in the battle, you're ready for the battle. Why? Because he's with you. Yes, sir. Because he's not depending on your strength to win. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, if you can take the pressure off of yourself, see, yes, you know, sir. I got to be able to stand, and I got to be able to live, and I have to be able to live, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I. What about yeah. you? Yeah. 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 If you could just start saying, and I'm depending on him, and I'm leaning on him, and I'm trusting in God, and I'm praying to God, and I'm fighting the devil and believing in God and his blood, and the shield that he is protects me and keeps me, I'm going to be okay. But we think we got to make it with our muscles. Baby, your muscles don't mean nothing fighting the devil. All right, now. Breathe it. Breathe it. Breathe it. Yes, sir. I don't mean no harm. I'm all, yes, I, I, I live, I work out, and all that's well and good. But that don't mean nothing uh -huh. in the spirit realm. That means nothing in the metaphysical realm at all. No, sir. No, sir. Not at all. No, sir. Mm -hmm. Because our authority is not of a flesh authority, not of a bodily authority. We have authority because we are God's children and we are saved. Yes. And that makes us join as and we are already seated in heavenly places with him at that point, which makes Satan on our feet at that point. Thank yes, you, Lord. Yes, sir. And that is what makes him a defeated foe. And that is why you have to reinforce that. What does that mean? You have to remind the devil that he is less than you. Yes, all right. Yes, all right. All right. Yes, sir. Oh, Lord. I don't care if you messed up. He is still less yeah. than you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Help yes, me hold the ghost while yeah, I talk to yeah. but, 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 But God leads us. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He said, I already know. He said, if I let them go the easy route. Lord yeah. have mercy. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Already know. He said, if I let them go the easy route, they're not ready for the war that's on the easy route. All right. Yes, All right. sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. <laughs> See that? Okay. See. Maybe, maybe you didn't feel that in your spirit yeah. like I did. Yeah. That, that, like I said. Yeah. You know, we be thinking that we want the easy way, yeah. not knowing the war yes, sir. Yeah. that goes along with yes, the yeah. easy yeah. way or, or the yeah. closest route or the straightest route. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Could it be, perhaps? Could it be? So if we're going to suppose or we're going to guess, Pastor taught us that you have to notify those that you're doing it. Yeah. So I propose tonight for your thinking, could it be if they had fought the Philistines this early in their career that the nation might would have got wiped out? Nah, could it nah, be? Lord. So I'm saying, could you be? don't know where you would be. Right. Preach, Pastor. Preach. If the Lord would have let you have somebody else pass. Oh, God. So you would like to think you would have made it better and you'd have been all right and you'd have been this and you'd have been, but it might not still have played that way for you. The one thing I know, 
And I'm a firm believer in you carry yourself with you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everywhere you go. Everywhere. If you go to Africa, you yourself in Africa. If you go to Europe, you yourself in Europe. If you go to Antarctica, you yourself in Antarctica. If you go yourself to Georgia, you are yourself in Antarctica. If you go to Japan, you are yourself in Japan. Right. It got to be in you, Doc, not on you. All right. And you can't make it be in you. You can make it look like it's on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what a lot of people are into making it, trying to make it look like it's on them. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Like I say, what I have been blessed to do and achieve, it, it cost me something. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Woo, it, 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 it cost me something. And I ain't saying that I did it by my own strength. Sean right. ain't saying that. But God had to deal with me. Yeah. And I had to go through some things. Yes, sir. See, funny thing about the top, whether you climb your way to the top, push your way to the top, mm -hmm. struggle your way to the top, fight your way to the top, you're going to go through something. Oh, yeah. And I'm going I'm to I'm I'm give you a good indicator mm -hmm. to know who went through what and who didn't. Right. <laughs> now it's worth exactly what it costs you And I don't think it's in the Bible Maybe if I read it I'll find it I'll let you all know Okay. But the person that liked to make it easy oh, For people uh -huh. That's who went through everything oh, no. Oh, no. Mm. The one that liked to make it hell For everybody yeah. oh, preach, pastor. Yeah. Preach. Them the one that came through the easy route right. You right pastor, right, pastor. Preach. That, that, that whole... So 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 you 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 in leadership, you learn yes, sir. Yes, sir. That, 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 that your people are going to be like you. Yes, sir. So what does that mean? You, you have to learn early on yes, sir. That, that what it is, they being like me. Yes. Yeah. So if I'm calm, I have calm. Yes. If I'm hellish, I got hell. Trying to help somebody on yes, the night that, that you have to trust the direction. I remember uh, years ago, early in the position that I currently serve in, is not to push that office, and, and I thought I had had a heart attack. All right, mm. all right, because of the stress uh -huh. that I was feeling and, yeah. okay. and experiencing. This will help somebody, uh, uh, even so much so as to go to the emergency room because I, I was right. feeling bad and got back from meetings and stuff and hearing all this stuff and this ain't this and this ain't this and all this other kind of stuff. And, Putting all this pressure on myself, the Spirit of God spoke to me, said, I didn't make you like everybody else. All right. All right. Come on, Pastor. He said, That's not how I showed you to achieve. Wow. All right. He said, You do what I told you to do yeah. and how I showed you to fight to yeah. be successful. All I said, Man, right. you ain't yes, tell me sir. no more, never again. And I ain't had that problem again in six. All right. All right. But Pastor, did you have a heart attack? It was not no heart attack. All right. <laughs> not at all. Wasn't even gagged. It was something that they think I had caught from when I was a boy that showed up after all these years. Yeah, yeah. We suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes, sir. But when you trust God and what God gives you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How to deal with stuff. Yeah. You okay? You gotta do like David. Saul has good intentions. He say, Well, well, here go my arm. Yeah. Yeah. We not even the same height. Come and sit there. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> You understand? Yes. David say, I'm going to use what I know. He didn't know armor, but he knew a slingshot and, and rocks. He knew yeah. a sling and rocks. It wasn't yeah. a slingshot. It was a sling. There is a difference. Yes. He, he understood that because that's what he dealt with every day in his regular life. And that's what he knew. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And God was able to use what he had to be successful. Mm. Yes. Why? Because David ain't had time to go to nobody's class. Come on. All right. Hey. All right. And learn. How to be used in armor. He a shepherd. This is what shepherds do. I know how to use a sling. This, the tribe that he's from, the tribe of Ben, they were known for being extra slingers. They, they made it known and understood that they were them guys. Right. Prided themselves on So they had contests and stuff like this. Probably and worked on this and honed these skills all the time. Right. Mm -hmm. What does that mean, Pastor? For the Lord to use you, he ain't got to give you something new. A lot of y'all praying, Lord, do let me do a new yeah. thing and, and give yeah. me a new thing. No, ask the Lord to let you use what you got. Yeah, yeah, yes, that. Yes, sir. 
Yes, that's the real question. What are you doing with what you have? Yes, sir. My Lord. Yes, sir. You know, you want to be being a hen, but you can't pray for your neighbor across the street. Lord have mercy. Preach, Pastor. Lord, hey, look, Mama, we're talking about that. Army. You want to go to the mission field and you won't even be a blessing right there where you live. Yeah. Right, right. Yes, sir. Who going to do that? Yes, sir. What honor is that? Well, you know a prophet is not without honor, but when in his own hometown. All that's well and good. That don't mean that you don't stop trying. All Thank right. you. All right. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Reverend Simpson. Reverend yes, Simpson. sir. Messing with the people. Reverend Simpson. Say, trust the direction because the Lord knew. The Lord knew. That if they went to fight the Philistines mm -hmm. too early, that they would change their minds. He, yes, he sir. said, I'm not going to even take that chance. Yep, that's about it. <laughs> yes, sir. With them, I'm not going to even let there be a propensity yeah, or probability right, come on, come on. Uh, of them changing their minds because what I have for them, I promised Abraham, Isaac, and wow. Jacob over yes, 400 some years ago. Yes. So I got to do what I got to do to yes, keep sir. as much distractions out the way from them as I can. Yes. All right. Yes. Yes. Now, true enough, Israel went through some things and they had to deal with some things, but that was because of their choices. But God made sure yes, sir. He didn't jump them into the fight first off. The way. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Say, so led them by the wilderness of the Red Sea. Mm. And we don't see Israel start having problems with the Philistines after Joshua's gone. All right. Right. That's when that name starts showing up. Mm. So that's what? One, two, almost, if we say two and a half, three generations later, have, that they were able at that time to be able to handle Philistines. Hold on. Help me hold it yes. while I talk that, yes. that, that. Sometimes your walk with God and, and, and all the time your walk with God is not just about you. All right. right. All right. Okay, let me, let me say that. It is not yeah. just about you. It, it, it's also about posterity because however much longer before time get through winding up and it is winding down or whichever one it is, you know, it's running out, whatever you call it. It's finna end. It's getting almost to zero, 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 zero. It's almost right. getting there. That way, wherever it's going to, however the Lord tarry. That, that if the next generation or how many generations happen between then and now, we don't know. But we still have to make sure that we trust the directions for ourselves yeah. so that our children have a chance to. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. It would not necessarily be automatic. That's why I encourage everybody to have a relationship with the Lord. Talk to the yes, Lord for sir. yourself. Talk to the Lord about your children. Ask him to give them a relationship with him so they can yes, get to know Lord. him and know him for themselves if you yes. leave him. Yes, yes, sir. You talk yes, about sir. that all the time. Why? Because everybody don't talk about that, but it is an important piece. Because it, it's hard to make it without him. It, it's hard with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Because yes. you got to deal with everything. You know, somebody said, you know, everything is hard. Somebody said, you know, marriage is hard, divorce is hard. Pick your heart. <laughs> Pick your heart. Right, oh, yeah. my God. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Suffering is hard. Living is hard. Pick, pick your heart. You, you, yeah. you, got a, you got a choice. Yes, yeah. sir. Which way you want to rock it. And I'm not saying go either way, but I'm saying you got to understand it. You, like, you got to take the bitter with the sweet, the good with the bad. You, yeah. Yeah. It's in the cup. It's in the cup. Even though you may be praying like Jesus, Father, if it's possible. Yeah. Yeah. And there's another yeah. way we can do this. Please let yeah. us do so. Let us do yes. so. Yes. Is it some other well way we can work this out? Because this, this thing finna get real, and I realize it's finna get real. Father, if it's possible, let this cup pass for me. In other words, you know, can I pass this around to somebody else? <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. Yes. Now we talking about the great and mighty Jesus the Christ. They ain't the, the, the sun, the, you know, the bright morning star, the lily of the valley, you know what I'm saying, the song of Solomon, you know what I'm saying, all, all these wonderful things, but that this is where he comes to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And this wasn't even the lowest point in his ministry yet. He ain't got to the lowest point yet. He on the way to it. Yeah. All right, yeah. all right. Yeah. But he realized what he was about to face. It's about to get real crucial right yeah. now. Yes, sir. And his... Humanity kicks in, but I want you to understand that God did not have a problem with Jesus the Christ, his only begotten son's humanity. All right. See, a lot of times you think God got a problem with you being human. He didn't have a problem with you being human. He expects you still to come to him. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. Sir. Jesus Christ didn't just, you know, forego the garden and say, well, I ain't going to just pray at all. I mean, his father, his prayer was simple. The Bible said, you know, Father, if it's possible, let this cup pray for me. Nevertheless, not my will, but let your will be done. He didn't pray a long prayer. Amen. All right. Amen. He didn't, you know, you know, he prayed to a sweat fell from his brow like great drops of blood due to the stress, and he got high blood pressure. That, that's what medical science says, you know, causes that to happen. That's what they say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So, so he was dealing with a real situation, but he didn't let the real situation stop him from praying. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My pastor, I just be feeling like my prayers don't work. Ain't, ain't working. Excuse me, well. What meter are you using to see if your prayer is working? My Lord. Lord. My Lord. Preach, Pastor. What you mean, what meter? I mean, what are you using to say that your prayer ain't working? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. How mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. See, the Bible says the effectual, fervent prayer yes, sir. of a righteous man and a woman avails much means he can get a lot done. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Effectual, fervent, effective. So how is it effective? It's effective if you pray from the Bible, you pray from the Word of God, you pray what God tells you to pray. Fervent, that means bubbling. Yes. And then that yes. bubbling, yeah, that's that bubbling. Fervent, that hot prayer, that, 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 that consistent yes, prayer. Avail much that, that, that you can't give up just because it ain't flipped overnight. Because yes. a lot of times we didn't get there overnight. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. It ain't saying that God can't deliver us at midnight. It ain't saying that God can't deliver us right now. But it ain't necessarily what he's going to do every time. Right, right. Why? Because God might want to straighten out some other things on yeah. the way, too. Yeah, You're talking sir. about trusting yes, sir. the directions. But, but, but Pastor, it, 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 I trust God and, and I've been left with nothing. Oh, really? Really? Mm. Oh, okay. Sometimes you really have to look at yourself yeah. and say, what did you lose? Because all the time it ain't always about what we lost. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just about who oh, wow. we lost. Yeah, yeah. You know, some people you hate to say it sometimes. Uh -huh. You hate to say things like this sometimes, you know. Uh -huh. People are collateral damages. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's just the way of the walk sometimes. You hate to say things like that. I mean, I mean Judas the Judas is scared. Mm. The traitor. Yeah, him. Yeah. He makes the deal to betray Jesus Christ for 30 pieces of silver. Come yeah. on now. Man. And the Bible says he looks mm -hmm. for the way to repentance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He tries to find it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He searches within himself. Mm -hmm. Searches within his spirit, I guess. You know, presupposing that. I'm just using my sanctified imagination. He, he tried to find a way to try to make it right. He takes the money back to him, gives him the money back, but that wasn't enough. Amen. No. Come on, Pastor. But it wasn't that the boy didn't try. Lord have mercy. Yeah. No, Ooh, see, don't, don't nobody ever touch that. Yeah. It wasn't that he didn't try. He tried, but when he got through trying and he tried all he could, all he could think is, man, I done did too much and I done went too far. Oh, my God. My Lord. My Lord. And what does he do? Hangs himself. Yeah. Can't even hang himself right. Yeah. Lord Jesus. Mm. Body collapsing and his body bust wide open. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because it got to be too much. Too much. Mm. That's why I tell you, man, leave people alone. Yeah. Would you? You, you, you don't know what people are dealing with and how they no, process no. and things. If you no, can't no. if you can't pray for them, you sure don't need to say nothing. Amen. 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 Lights and wall revenue. Preach it. Preach it. You right on that. Why is that, pastor? I mean, keep praying, you you Praying, you can say a lot more in praying and not offend nobody. Amen. Right. Amen. Then you can't go into a person. Yeah. Well, I just got to tell them something. Why? Is that you or your ego or your pride? Now, which one is it? Uh, it's yeah. all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you want to be able to say that I was the one brought. You I can't bring nobody out of nothing. Thank you. What kind of arm you got? Uh, Ain't even like this. No. I told you, I've seen. Strongest of men uh, 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 uh. still have strength, but the mind can't yeah. think no more to yeah. regulate this so it can do things that he used to do. But the strength is still there. Yeah. But the mind ain't. Yeah. And vice versa. Vice versa. Without the strength, but got the mind, and 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 the mind can't do. Yeah. What yeah. it did. Yeah. Or got the mind, and the mind don't know where it is and who you are. Nothing about yourself. And you just spend all day wondering with a no man's spirit, but you God's child. Yes. yes. And just as saved as you was the first time you got wet and water to be baptized. Yes. I mean, just like I say, life will throw some stuff at you. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. That you can't explain it don't make sense. Yeah. You're right. 
and passes all your understanding in the spirit and in the natural and in your reading as well. Well, yes. the, the, the arteries and their blood vessels got thin. Okay, that's what y'all say. Okay, and all that's well and good, but they still here. They spirit sustaining their life, but they don't know where they are, but they spirit know where they are. Yeah. That's yeah. weird. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. And you know these kind of things. You're trying to process this kind of stuff, and it's helping somebody out there. Yeah. 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 Preach. Because you, you're mad because they don't know who you are no more, and they can't say your name no more, and all this other kind of stuff, and you got to try to find out a way to make peace with this stuff. Yeah, mm. oh and be okay with it, so you can, so you can, so you can, you know, take care of them or whatever, be there yeah. for them and stuff. Yeah. Cause they're not what they were, because now they're your child instead of you being their child. Oh, preach, pastor. Oh, preach. I tell you all the time, as often as it come up, sometimes the road do flip. Yes, sometimes. they do. Yes, they do. But you got to be okay with that yes, and understand sir. that's a part of life. Yes, yeah. sir. It ain't like it's new. Lord. It's not. That's why David say, Lord, when I get old and gray here, that he told he, he made sure he identified the time. Yeah. Yes, sir. He said, please don't forget about me. Yes, sir. And evidently God didn't. Mm. Yeah. He died peacefully. He did what he did, and he, uh, he had his ways up, but he died peacefully. Yes. Yep. Yes. He was buried with great honor, which means they loved him still. So I mean, you know, he died okay. He ain't die hard. I mean, yeah, yeah, God loved him so. He, you know, he, kings, X Men, and generate down because of my boy David, my servant yes, David. Sir. I'm gonna save the city. David yes, been sir. gone. David been buried. They know where to him and everything. He said, "But I'm gonna, I'm gonna save y'all because of David, because yes, I, I David was by me." He hey. said that. He said that. Yes, sir. So what can the Lord say about you when you gone? Oh my! Oh, my God. To help somebody else that's tied to you, I wait. God say no man stood before me like Moses. <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he said. He say stood before me. He ain't say nobody come to me like he say nobody right. stood. You stood up before God. What kind of man is you? Mm -hmm. He say no flesh of glory in his blood, but he say ain't nobody stood before me Amen. like Moses. Amen. He told God, you can't do that. He God for the kill everybody. He said, I'll start over with you, God. Most say, you can't do that. You can't do that. He said, if you get out here doing it, everybody going to think there's, there's something wrong with you and that you lied and you didn't keep your word. That's right. And, and God had to put the, put the brakes on. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. I mean, you got to know that you somebody when you can make God stop in the midst of what he's doing. You, you somebody. I don't care what nobody say. You something. What wow. Yes, sir. And God, I guess God said, well, yeah, I guess that boy got a point, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he just heard himself. Mm. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he right. He said something. I guess. I guess. So, 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 so he's all right. He said, that's all right. He said, I'm going to work it out, but okay. Mm, <laughs> they yeah. ain't going to die today, but they going to die. I mean, they did. He did. Yeah, that's yeah. why they went yeah. there circling yeah. for 40 years. Right. And after, they, after all of them died in that generation, except Caleb and Moses, I mean, except Caleb and Joshua, that was it. they went on. And they started kicking butt and taking names everywhere everywhere they went. <laughs> and wasn't no questions that everybody knew it was going to be a problem. They showed up. People started lying to them about, oh, oh yeah, we from way up the way. You know, we from such and such tribe. You know, we just a little bit of, you know, farmers and stuff. You know, we want to make some treaties with y'all, you know, so y'all don't kill us. Yeah. <laughs> y'all tell us what y'all want to do. Y'all don't kill. They get, all, they get across the hill and they stay right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. they just like, well, now nah, y'all, Lord, they done played us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. They they done played yeah. us. They they done played. We done made a treaty with them already, so we got to keep our treaty because we're honorable men. Right. So why are we gonna worry? Us? They're gonna be hewers of wood and barrels of water. That was it. Throughout the turn. But but in God's plan, you see what I'm show up for the yeah. last supper. Say, so yeah. gonna meet a man, bear the pitch water. There it is. Yeah. Give me nice all over yeah. again. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. See, the Lord can use some strange things. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. To put you in the way if you let them. Yes. If you let him, if yes. you let him. So, so yes. Pastor, trust the direction. Trust the direction. Trust the direction when they don't make sense. When they yes. don't make sense. When you want to make a left and God tell you to make a right. Trust. Trust. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. The direction. <laughs> Grandma said, lady, you got to walk with him. Walk by him yeah. on the trail. Yeah. Now, see, the difference between a trail and a road is a lot uh -huh. different. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. See them trails when we used to walk in the country, when we walk the trail, you know, a lot of people call them cow paths. Uh -huh. it, it, it's just a line of dirt. Yeah. Yep. And everything still grow up beside it. Mm -hmm. Right. And whatever's on the side there, the sticker bugs, mm -hmm. bugs, anything else, if it get to your leg or your pants leg, yeah. it's gonna get on you. Yeah. yeah. But you don't stop going forward because you're yeah. going somewhere. Amen. Right. Amen. The, so, so the way already be made, yeah. yes, sir. it's already cut. 
But you got to make the decision for yourself that I'm going to keep moving forward. Yes. Sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we trust. how do we trust the direction? Okay, we trust the direction God by following his lead. Yes, Follow sir. his lead. Yes, sir. I say, I don't know what to do. Well, just be still then. No, yes, sir. You ain't got to make a mess just because you don't know what to do. Man. Good prayer and pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. One of my things, what, the Lord has done so many wonderful things. Yes, sir. Yeah. I mean, wonderful things are full of wonder that he has done in your life that we even take for granted. Yes, Man, I was, telling, I was going to, I was going to yes, praise sir. the Lord today and ask him to meet a need that he had already met. But once again, because he's so smooth. Yeah. 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 My Lord. I say, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm praying for you for something you already took care of. I'm sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What you mean? I'm just saying, good God, he has his own way of doing things. Yes, he does. Yes, yes he, he does. does. And if, if we can learn to just trust the direction. Yes, yes sir. sir. Just trust yes, the direction. But we, but we, we always want God to do something great. Mm -hmm. And grant, see, the Bible talks about the greater works than these shall you do. So we thinking that God fed, I mean, Jesus fed 5,000, we're going to pay. Ten thousand. The Lord showed me now it ain't necessarily about doing more than what he did. Okay. It's just doing other things than what yeah. he did. Greater. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, God has blessed his people to be able to build schools in places that ain't even have books. Yes. Right. Build hospitals in places that ain't even have health care. Yeah. You know, that, that's greater words. It don't seem like it. Because uh, yes, it seems minor mm -hmm. to us. Yeah. Because that's not really anything. It's, it's great and grand, but it's not really for the kingdom. Yeah. yeah. But he say he say when I was hungry you fed yes, me. When sir. I was sick you came and something. What you? That's natural yes, stuff. Sir. Yeah. Do you understand that? You know that, 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 that means something to God. God, Jesus Himself, He was an Italian. Yes, sir. Yeah. They say, say, he say, he say, he say, he say, he say, they say, well, you know, Jesus, you know, he he been good to us. He built some synagogues and stuff for us, and he's good to our people. Yeah. You ain't think that got Jesus Christ's attention? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. That even though he's not a part of covenant, he understands that I can be a blessing. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. But now you don't want to give to your building fund. Oh, mm. uh oh. Because you ain't seen nothing new on the building. Oh, uh -oh. my. Oh, my. Mm. How long have you been saying you're going to do something on your house? <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. So you're going to mess up with the people's room. <laughs> oh, my. And you ain't done it yet. Oh, oh my. my Jesus. So a lot of people get real shame if they really knew. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How things run at the Lord's house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They, they, you would get real shame and you would put up your, your sword, your shield, and yeah. your buckler. Yes, yeah. sir. And stick your sword in the sands of time and never say nothing ever again. Yes, sir. Because you don't know how many times Pastor Preach. give give all his money Preach, so the Preach. lights can stay on. Yeah, yeah. Preach. Nobody said, nobody gonna talk, talk about it. I'll say it. Preach. Yes, sir. I didn't see them want to talk about that part. Yes, We've been, we been taking the building for, for 100 years and we ain't never got a new building. Well, is it everybody giving to it? Come yeah. Building fund is everybody on, tithing so that this Come is above on, and beyond giving Come or what, on, what are we doing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. Woo. Lord, I didn't, I didn't think I was going to end up in that right That's there. But right since I'm there, let me say this. You, 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 you have to support God seen it for yourself. Yes. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And know that your commitment is to God, not to man. Well, my pastor crook. Well, why are you still there? All right. Say it. All right. Say it. Are you there because you feel comfortable because you know something about him and that yeah, that doesn't bother you, so you feel like you can do what you want to do. My yeah. Lord. Because you, you got liberty to be somewhere else. I encourage yeah. you to lead the right way. Yes, yeah, yeah. sir. Yeah. Which is, which is, you know, Pastor, I'm sorry, I'm going to look for, for membership elsewhere and just be done. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't got to leave raggedy. I'm tired of this ministry. They done did, did me this and did me that, but they the one praying your children free yes. from all the drugs Preach, and alcohol. Pastor. Oh, Reverend Sam. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They was the ones holding your hand yes. when your husband was knocking your head in. Yes. Oh sir. my God. Yes. But now we got a little better and we got a new man and we got a new attitude and yeah. we move from our old house and we move for our new, new old friends and we got a brand new life. We done forgot. No. Come on, Pastor. Preach. Oh, Brother Samson, you are not there. Yeah, I should. I yeah. should. Yeah. I should say these things. Why? Yes. Yeah. Cause yes, you, you got man. Mm, 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 mm. I tell you, some things I just don't touch with God. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. I only be worried about it like that. Like, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know it's you'll learn if you know what I'm talking about. I can't explain it to you, but you'll learn. All right. You'll learn. Yes, mm -hmm. You'll learn like, mm, 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 mm. they got nothing to do with me. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I ain't in that. They got nothing to do with RSM Junior. They got nothing to do with 1180 Washington Boulevard, Boma, Texas. They ain't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
I got to do no Madre, I don't mean no harm. I'll print and see for y'all, but I ain't got nothing on it. That ain't got nothing to do with me. All right. Mind your own self business. That, that's yes. part of trusting yes, sir. the direction because you're going to get dizzy trying to figure out how they doing what they doing. Amen. And God yeah. giving you your own life for you to enjoy, but you mad. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Yes. Can't enjoy your blessing because you mad at what they got. If you quit yeah. looking at what they have. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes. And enjoy what you have. Maybe you would have more. Oh, oh my, right. oh my, right. oh my. Yes, sir. Could it be for your Could thinking be? on tonight? Yes, sir. Could, Could it, it be? be? Yes, sir. That if I learn to focus on my blessings, yes. that God would bring me more of what he had for me. Because yeah. what I'm focusing on ain't what God has for me. Oh, and I know all the time we can't explain our blessings. And sometimes it's hard to accept our blessing. It's hard to live in our blessing. It's hard to be a blessing and do a blessing. I understand all that and all that well and good. But I mean, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Mm. Lord, bless you. least you can do is enjoy. Yes, sir. Be gracious. Yes, Amen, Pastor. Amen. Yes, sir. You got a whole place in your yard and bed to go to the playground every day and don't ever play with it. What type of stuff is that? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just trying to give you a oh, metaphor yes, there and something to yes. raise your mind to, you know, to help you in your way that 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 God, he really does know us. Yes, yes he, he does. does. Yes, yes, he does. And, and with him knowing us, that's how he's able to help us. The Bible says like this, he remembers that we are dust. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What does that mean? He remembers we ain't nothing, but in spite of us not being nothing, mm. he gives us himself and puts himself on the inside of us. Yes. And then he gives us a treasure in the earth and the vessel so that we do have some value. And he puts his name on us, his stamp, his imprimatur upon us so that we can still be a blessing to somebody else. Yes, yes, in spite of our raggedy ways and in spite of our raggedy life, he still finds a way to use you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But oh, Pastor, it, it, it just Thank be getting you, Lord real Jesus. out here, man. Don't tell me about getting real and, and how things go and what things is and whatnot, man. The Lord keep you better than he can tell you he kept yes, you. Yes, sir. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. You can be going through something and ain't not able to identify what it is till after you out of it. Yes, sir. Right, right. Yes. And you can be in it a whole bunch. I told y'all, 14 years appetite was trash. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 I didn't recognize it, did not see it, did not know that's what it was. I would just eat till I got full, eat because I knew I got to eat, and that was that. Whatever, if I, that was a lot, it was a lot. If it was a little, it was a little. But when I was done, I was done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Shoot, the Lord blessed me one day, January 1st, 2021, to wake up happy. And I felt like I did when I was young, young. I said, oh, my God. Appetite came back. Praise the Lord. Thank I'm saying it was a blessing, but he kept me in spite of that, though. Yes, even though I did not know where I was, even though I did not know what I was experiencing or going through or did not identify or wouldn't let it touch me, whatever for the reason, he kept me. Yes, sir. And he'll keep you too. And he kept you too. Oh my God. Thank you. He'll do it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. you know, I, I just I just be wanting better. Okay, so enjoy we, where we are and believe God for better. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Yes. You know, yes. if the mountain don't come to you, maybe you need to go to the mountain. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You can go. Because mm -hmm. the, the objective is to be at the mountain. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> yes, sir. That's it. Not how you get there, just get. Yeah. To the mountain, and yeah. the mountain get to you. But either way, I mean, whatsoever, get there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Funny thing about climbing a mountain, this will help somebody. I had the opportunity to actually climb one. Mm. Uh huh. And it's pretty steep, little grade there. I must, I must say, pretty steep, and, and and it start off easy. Yeah. You know, you you know, yeah. you hiking it. All right, you good. Yeah. And you get up. 25% of the way. Okay, you still got a good pace. You still uh, holding, got a good yeah. rhythm. You walking good. And yeah. You get halfway, you still holding too. Yeah. Doing <laughs> yeah. pretty good. You, you get three fourths. Uh huh. Middle of all, you, you still holding, but that last. Yes. Yeah. Come on, man. 25%. Come on, come on. You got to kind of slow down and lean. Yeah, brother. That's a little bit more than what. Yes, you doing it other three fourths of the way, and that's when it get hard. This, yes, yes, sir. Yes, the last part of yes, the way. Sir. Yes, sir. So could it be that you in the hardest part? Mm. It's just about over. 
Wow. When you're the closest yes, sir. to the top. My yes, God. Sir. Yes, sir. Could it be? I mean, I mean, just, I mean, can't let, 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 let's just change our perspective. Yeah. Yeah. When we're, to, to be that way. I'm having it hard. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, how about I'm at the hardest part because I know I'm getting to the end. Yes, sir. That's why coaches always tell the athletes, you, we, we got to play till the clock says zero, zero, yeah. zero. Yeah. Yeah. Which means we got to play the whole game. We can't just start playing late in the game. We got to play the whole mm -hmm. yeah. game. You run track, they teach you that you got to kick strong all the way through the whole race. You run, yes. Whether you're sprinting or you're a distance runner, you're running cross country, you're running a marathon, whatever it is, you got to keep going. Yeah. Yes, sir. So I tell you tonight, trust the, trust the directions of God Almighty. Why? Because He knows. Yes, sir. And not only does he know, he cares. He cares. Yes, sir. He, he, he really cares. I mean, it may not seem like it, and it may not feel like it because of the human experience and points and gives us some other things that look other way, but God still cares. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because even at his worst, even at his heart heaviest, even at his darkest, God still loves us, and he still don't leave us. Yes, sir. The Thank Bible says Paul and Silas prayed at midnight. Yeah. Yes, at yes. the darkest point. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's when they got a miracle. Help yes, me, Lord. Yes, yes. Yes. So, 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 child of God, just keep believing. Yes. And know that God will help you. Yes, yes He sir. will. <laughs> and yes, He has he you in mind. And I hear Him say, "I'm taking you somewhere." Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Say it again. I'm taking you. Taking yes, you sir. somewhere. Somewhere. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes. sir. You know, I hear past these, I trust in God wherever I may be. Yes, yes sir. I, I love to hear him say, he's talking about, he said, I own the land, I own the soul. In other words, don't matter yes. the conditions, I know my heavenly father, he's yes. watching. Yes, sir. Over me, I understand that I'm in God's hand, yes, no matter yes. where I am. Yes, yes, sir. You have the golden opportunity tonight. Yes, oh, my sir. God. To accept the one who will lead you in all things. Yes, yes, sir. Lord. yes sir. Who knows all things is with us all at all times and it's everywhere present, everywhere knowing. Thank you, yes, Lord sir. Jesus. He is the one that won't leave you. His name is Jesus Christ. I encourage you tonight to accept him as your Lord and Savior on tonight. Amen. He will be with you. Yes, sir. He will be for you. And he will save you right where you are. Thank you, Lord. I went Jesus. right where you are. But Pastor, I, I, I've done so much. It does not matter. The Bible says a man was full of thousands of demons. Oh God. And he had one encounter with Jesus the Christ. And he came back to his sane self. He was cutting himself. He was living among the tombs. Lord, you they could do nothing to contain or control him. He hollered all night long like a maniac. But Jesus Christ delivered him. Yes, sir. And he becomes an evangelist right then for God. Yes, sir. Why? Because it didn't matter what he had done. It did not matter where he had lived. It did not matter what he had done, said, how he had lived. All that stuff was washed away in that moment. Because everybody knew that he had been changed and he gave God the credit for changing him. Everybody knew. Right there. Yes, sir. He wants to go with Jesus because he said, I need to be with the one that, that, that brought me this. And Jesus said, no, I don't need you with me. I don't mean no harm. He said, I don't need you with me. He said, I need you to stay here and tell the people that he went and he oh. told. Yes, yes sir. sir. The many wonderful things that God had done for him. That's all me and Pastor trying to do every time. We got to talk about the many wonderful things that God can do for you in your yes. life. That's why we say you haven't gone too far. You haven't done too much. You haven't experienced too much. Because sometimes we feel like our experiences are too much for God to be able to handle. But can I tell you that he was there all the time? Right there. Right there. Right there. Anytime that you go through something and you make it through and you can't explain how or why you got through it or you got over it or whatever you want to call it, it was because God kept you whether you were saved or not. He kept, he kept you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I encourage you tonight to accept him. In your heart as Lord and Savior. We ought to have a prayer there to say if the sinner's prayer is pinned to the top. You can go ahead and pray it right now if you want to pray it. Or maybe you're already saved, but you want to get back 
in the right place with God. You and God, you fell out with God. You got an issue with God. The Bible says, come, let us reason together. Which means you and him can work it out. Yes. Yeah. It, it does not matter to God because your being with him is more important than what you have done. My God. Thank, Thank you. Lord. Thank he you. just desires Thank you. to have a relationship with you. Yes, sir. And yes, little old you, or big you, yes, or whatever sir. you've done. Whatever you want to say that you've done, God takes all of that and he can make you brand new. As if you never did anything. Yes, sir. He can make people have to look at you different. Yeah, Lord. He can make people forget what you did, who you were, what you've experienced. He can clean you up and wash you, and you be totally brand new. Why? Because if any man or woman be in Christ, they are a new creation. All things have passed away, and old things have passed away. So that's you on tonight, and you desire to be saved on tonight. You can't be saved and know it as you repeat this prayer after me to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior to rededicate your life back to God, give your life back to God. And that prayer says, Dear God, I know without Jesus, the Christ, I am lost. I believe your word that says, if I say with my mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe in my heart, that God raised him from the dead, I will be saved. I now invite you into my life and receive you by faith as my Lord and Savior. I'm sorry for my sins and I thank you for your forgiveness. Jesus Christ, you are my Lord. I'm now a new creature in Christ and a child of God. Thank you for saving me. Sit on the throne of my heart and I want to serve you the balance of my days. Jesus, Jesus, you are my savior. Thank you for saving me. You for saving Amen. Amen. And just like that, you're saved. Amen. If you want more information about being saved and you want assurance of your salvation or some scriptures to show you proof of you being saved, just inbox us there and we'll get you the scriptures that tell you that you are saved. We can also show you the scriptures that show you from the Bible, starting with John 3, 16, that for God so loved the world and take you through the book of Romans and, and Corinthians as well. In Ephesians, they show you that you are saved and how you're saved. You desire the information, just inbox it. But if you got saved on tonight, type there, I got saved. Let somebody know that you're saved. Read the whole Bible from cover to cover from in your Bible app from Genesis all the way through Revelation. Find a version of the Bible that you understand and that's easy for you to read. Yes, sir. But read it so you know what God's word says for you. And yeah. you know what you can have and what you can do and what you can be. And how God uses his people to be a blessing to others in the earth. So that you can pray for others and participate in God's plan and purpose for your life. If you don't have a church that you're a member of, we'd love to have you as our members here at the fellowship. If you want membership, you can just inbox us. We'd be glad to have you as an e-partner. Amen. And we pray for our members every day. We call our names before the, their name before the Lord every day. Amen. Covering them with believing prayer that God keeps them and protects them and keeps them prosperous in every area of your life. So Pastor and I are grateful for you. If you got saved on tonight, welcome to the family of God. If you rededicated your life back to God, we say welcome home. We're glad that you made it back. So Pastor and I are praying for you. We thank God for you. Please share this to your news feed if you haven't already done so. As you go, if you're a believer, tell the word about Jesus and tell them about his love. Let them know that Jesus saves, Jesus, saves, Jesus, heals, Jesus heals, and Jesus prospers. Jesus we'll see you Sunday morning at 8.30 a.m. Amen.